Okay. Let me take a polynomial x square minus 8x plus 15. This can be written as x square minus 5x minus 3x plus 15 and then the two factors can be written as x, x minus 5 then minus 3, x minus 5. So, x minus 3 and x minus 5. These two are the factors of the original quadratic polynomial. So, the, these two are factors making them equal to 0 will give me the zeros of this quadratic polynomial. What does this mean? x minus 3 is equal to 0 gives me x is equal to 3 and this is the alpha. Not necessarily always this is the alpha in the sense that what I find was first I will uh, write it as alpha. Okay. So, then again x minus 5 is equal to 0 gives me x is equal to 5. Let us put that as beta. Okay. Now, I know alpha and beta. Can I write this? Forget all about everything. Somebody is just giving me x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5. Please write a quadratic equation for which these two are the zeros. What am I supposed to do? So, let us go back from here, just a reverse of the steps. If x is equal to 3 was the 0, obviously x minus 3 must be the factor of the imaginative polynomial which we are going to find. So, since x is equal to 3 is the 0, x minus 3 is going to be the 1 factor. Similarly, if x is equal to 5, x minus 5 is going to be the another factor of the polynomial. I have two factors with me. All I have to do is just multiply and get the original polynomial. So, we now we are doing this. So, from here let me multiply x into x, x square, okay. then x into 5 minus 5 x, then you have minus 3 x, then you have plus 15 this turns out to be x square minus 8 x plus 15. From here we came here, from here we came here. So, when the polynomial was given we could find the roots, we could find the zeros, but if the roots are given I can find the polynomial, it is not a big deal. So, I know the roots, I can write the factors and I can multiply and get the answer, but should I always multiply and get the answer? Why or is it possible that I can still get some shortcut? Okay, now, x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5 are some numbers. We know they are the roots, but how do we generally talk about the roots? They are alpha and beta. So, let us take a generalized you know, quadratic polynomial whose roots are alpha and beta. This is say 3 and this is 5. Think of them as numbers, but we will not do the numbers. We will just use alpha and beta. If it was 3, I found x minus 3 as the factor. If it was 5, I found x minus 5 is the factor. So, if it is alpha, it is x minus alpha is one of the factors, the other factor being x minus beta. Now, what am I supposed to do? From here, what did I do? I multiplied and got this number. So, here also I will do the same thing. So, x into x, x square, then what is the next one? Minus beta x minus alpha x plus alpha beta, correct? Alpha into beta minus into minus makes it plus. So, this is the general equation. I can even write this as x square. If I take this x as common, it will give me beta plus alpha. If I want, I can put it as alpha and beta, alpha plus beta. Let us write it again x square minus, instead of writing beta plus alpha, I can switch the you know a alpha and beta and make it as alpha plus beta into x. This x I have taken, I mean written after this uh, total. So, x square minus alpha plus beta plus alpha beta. Okay. This is the equation, that is all. So, I do not have to really multiply. Now, look here. What did I do? x minus 3, x minus 5, I went about multiplying and finally, got the answer. If only I use this, I can get the answer. What is this here? x square minus, what is alpha and beta according to the numbers which I had? 3 plus 5. So, I will put 3 plus 5, that is all, into x. And what is alpha beta? I just multiply 3 into 5, 15, that is all. I got the answer. So, x square minus 8x plus 15. So, even without really multiplying each term by just using this formula, this expression, I can write the quadratic equation, a quadratic polynomial if I knew the roots. So, that the roots are alpha and beta, then alpha minus beta, uh, x minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors. I multiply them to get the generalized format which is x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. So, in words how do I write, how do I write an, uh, an expression which says 
what is the quadratic polynomial if the roots are alpha and beta? It says x square minus sum of roots, if I know the roots, obviously uh, without knowing the roots, I cannot write the polynomial. If I have the polynomial, I can find the roots, but if I have the roots, I can write the polynomial. So, x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots. Please remember, some books will say roots, some books will say zeros, does not make any difference. Both roots as well as zeros mean the same thing. So, zero of the polynomial, root of the polynomial, they are the same thing. So, formula may say sum of the zeros, somewhere it will be written sum of the roots, so just do not get confused. So, x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots will give me directly the polynomial. So, we can even do a couple of examples to see how we can instead of going through such an elaborate thing, if I remember this expression, I will just put the value and get the answer. Let us see how we can do that. So, let us just take a couple of roots of a quadratic polynomial, say minus 5 and 7, something like that, alpha and beta. I am supposed to write the quadratic polynomial for which these two are the roots, these two are the zeros. So, directly I can use the formula and get the answer. It is x square minus sum of roots into x plus product of roots, that is all. So, if I add and subtract correct, multiply correctly, I will get the answer. So, sum of roots, this minus sign is important. So, this is minus 5 plus 7 into x plus minus 5 into 7. This gives me x square minus, what is this minus 5 plus 7 is 2, plus 2. So, 2 into x plus this is minus 7 5 is 35. Finally, x square minus 2 x minus 35. This is the quadratic polynomial for which these two other roots. So, even if you go back, you will get the same thing. In fact, let us see whether the root answer is coming correctly. Yes, minus 2 by 1, which is the b by a, minus of minus 2, which is turning out to be minus 5 plus 7, which is 2. Similarly, minus 35, that is turning out to be minus 35. So, from here, we have come down to here. If you just know the roots, you can write the quadratic polynomial. If you know the quadratic polynomial, you can find the roots. So, either way we can do, depending upon what the question is. Let us do one more maybe. Uh, say the roots be minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 3, something in fraction. Just make it a little complicated, that is all. Okay. The format is the same. So, we will write x square minus minus half mi plus minus 1 by 3. Let us be very, very careful with all these minus signs and all that there is a minus sign here. Individually, both the roots are having a negative sign, but they are supposed to be added because sum of the roots, the roots are to be added. Okay plus product of the roots. So, this is minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 3. So, this is the general way we have written, then what is required is for us to do the proper calculation. So, as long as you are solving this, do not remove this bracket. Okay? Keep that minus and bracket and everything. So, if I take the LCM, this is minus 3 plus of minus 2, is not it? Then plus multiplication, so minus into minus is 1. 1 by 6. So, this gives me x square minus again with the bracket minus 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6. This is x square. Now, you have minus here, you also have a minus here, makes it plus. Plus 5 by 6, there is an x, always an x term. Sorry for having omitted that, we should not do that. This is sum of the roots into x, sum of the roots into x, sum of the roots into x. So, x then you have plus 1 by 6. So, all the three terms are there, there is an x square term, there is an x term, then there is a constant. This is the answer, but let us not have any number in the uh, denominator. If I multiply each and every term of this quadratic polynomial with 6, both the numerator as well as denominator. So, this I can simplify it by multiplying each term by 6. I can either take LCM and simplify it or this way also I can do. So, this gives me 6 x square plus 5 x plus 1. So, that these two polynomials are actually the same thing. Okay. So, with this polynomial can we get this, that is what our job is. From here we got this. this, we were given the roots, we got this, but from here are we going to get this. Yes, let us see, these are alpha and beta. So, you must know the sum of the roots and product of the roots. Sum of the roots of minus 5 by 6, product was 1 by 6. 
look here and see whether I am going to get sum of the roots as minus 5 by 6 because that is what I took. I added them and got this number as minus 5 by 6. Can I get from here minus 5 by 6? Yes. What is the sum of the roots? Alpha plus beta minus b by a minus b. b is 5. So, minus b is minus 5 by a is 6. So, minus 5 by 6. So, the sum of roots are correct. What about the product of the roots? c by a c is 1, a is 6. So, 1 by 6, yes, it is telling with 1 by 6 because we really multiplied the roots. We multiplied the roots and got the product. From the quadratic polynomial itself, we could have got alpha beta. So, it is the other way around. We are just checking it whether our final polynomial which we got by doing all this calculation, is it really correct or not. In fact, from here also, you can get the same answer. So, it is not a difficult thing. We have just simplified it by multiplying throughout by a number so that the denominators are all removed because we don't want fractions looking here. Okay, so this is 6x square plus 5x plus 1 is the polynomial whose roots are minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 3.